All right, so welcome back to another upgrade video for Arc Nova. Now, I've always been getting new stuff for Arc Nova, and if you can see in this box here, I have quite a bit of stuff for Arc Nova that doesn't come with the original box, hence all of that. But wait, there's more. I just got a whole bunch of new stuff for Arc Nova from SaltCon, a whole bunch, which means I might have to be replacing this in this beautiful insert to fit all the new stuff in Arc Nova. So let's move Arc Nova, the box over to here a little bit so we can see the new stuff. Look at this. Isn't this cool? So let's see, this is like going to be for the zoo maps. So let's, let me grab a, a map and let's see how it looks inside this uh, awesome insert here for the, for the maps, right? Uh, let's just grab a regular side and see if we can fit this in here. It's supposed to fit in. Uh, here maybe, okay, on the side. Okay, not too shaky, so let's bring it closer. Okay, here we go. It's going in, I think. There we go. Look at this. It's a little tight, but we're getting it down there. Just have to hold it out a little bit. But look, now we can put enclosure tiles here without having to worry about them falling out of place and we can still put the cubes here and stuff like that and the continents we still have room for all of that stuff and the notepad isn't that awesome so we got a yellow one we've got a blue one a red one and a black one for all of the different player colors isn't that cool okay let's set aside three of them and hold on and keep the yellow one here because we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. So first of all, we've got this, which is for the um, solo uh, board, basically, a little solo board, if you will, this thing here. So let me take out the original, put the uh, tiles back in here for now. If I can, let's see. Okay, there we go. Let's set that aside and try this out. Looks like it just goes in through the top. And look at that, isn't that cool? Now we've got that. That's pretty cool. All right, cool. So we got that. So we got that as well. All right, let's see what else we have here. Look at these. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is the reptile house here. See, isn't that cool? Now you're probably wondering what the uh, extra little things are for. Well, I'll show you in a moment, but let's see how it looks in this little grid here. Let's say... Look at this. Isn't that cool? Just fits right in there. Isn't that awesome? So we've got four of them, just like you would need, right? And look at this. This is the aviary. So let's put the aviary in here, too, because, you know, we want to make things look nice, right? So let's put the aviary here and the reptile house here. Isn't that cool? Wait, wait. We've also got a petting zoo as well. So let's put the petting zoo in here, too. Why don't we? Okay, who cares if we cover up some water for this demonstration? So we'll just cover up water just so you can see what it looks like. So petting zoo, reptile house, aviary. Isn't that awesome? But wait, we've got more. We've got lots more. Look at this. We've got more tiles here in a bag because, you know, there's a lot of special tiles and stuff, right? Look at this. There's an animal in this one, and it uh, it's part of it. It's part of the tile. Um, I'm not sure what animal is supposed to be, 
But you know, it's gonna fit in here just like all the other ones, right? Isn't that cool? Look, we got this. This little like house or building. Maybe it's a zoo school or something. Um, I'd have to look at all the tiles that these are gonna be replacing. But we've got all of the all of the different tiles, at least most of them, you know, uh, that are that work with the cards, right? Of Ark Nova. So we got the uh, zoo gate. Looks like this is the, you know, zoo gate. Isn't that cool? Um, let's see. We've got another one here. I think this is the polar bear for the polar bear uh, card. You know, the sponsor card, polar bear card. I think, right? Kind of, kind of looks like it. Cool. What else we got? I'm not sure what this one is, but. It looks sort of like an owl. It's shaped sort of like an owl. So probably the Bard Owl Hut or something. You know, sponsor card. So we got some more. We'll have to obviously check and see which of these they replace. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a slide. It's definitely a slide, right? This is one of the slides in the game. You know, little slide a sponsor cards. You know, uh, another one. Not sure what all of these are for sure, but yeah, cool. We got more. Very, very cool. This is obviously the turtle. You'll notice it looks like, yeah, see, that's a turtle right there, right? Standing up, right? This is the, uh, the sea turtle, uh, exhibit basically, or, um, tank, the sea turtle tank for the sponsor card, right? Yep, it's the exact same shape. That's pretty cool, right? And it, you know, fits in there. Awesome, right? Isn't that beautiful? What else we got? Oh, this must be the uh, Baboon Rock. I bet you this is the Baboon Rock for the sponsor card, Baboon Rock, yeah? Probably. Got more, though. Oh, look, this is that penguin pool. This is the penguin pool. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And we got two more in this bag. Uh, probably the... Uh, I don't know what you would call it. I forget what you call it. The uh, the gondola or whatever it's called. The cableway, I think it's called. I think that's what this tile's for. And then the meerkat. The meerkat exhibit or uh, sponsor card, you know? For the meerkat thing. That's pretty cool, right? So, wow, those are the special tiles, though, right? So we got the the actual bona fide, you know, uh, let's see, let's get me some, let me, let me get them there far away from me. I don't want to drop any of them. Let's pull them out, though. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so, so we have, we have the, uh, the one size enclosures, you know, we've got them in uh, different colors, but this could be, this could be the, you know, um, unoccupied, you know, potentially, right? Uh, and then the green side could be the occupied, right? You know, some more of those dark green ones, you know? Um, so there's lots of them in here, you know, lots of those little tiny ones, you know? Um, and then we've got the four size enclosures, right? Um, you know, they fit in here pretty good. And we've got, uh, two size enclosures. Awesome 3D printed stuff, right? Uh, the five size enclosures, pretty cool, right? Three size enclosures, pretty cool, right? Wow, look at that. Let's put the five size enclosure just to see what it looks like, right? Ooh, we'll just put it on anything, right? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Man, this is going to definitely improve even more upon Arc Nova. But wait, there's still lots and lots more. Don't those enclosures look empty? Yes, yes, I think those enclosures look very empty. And ooh, here's a giraffe. Let's put the giraffe in this enclosure. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's zoom in. Look at this. 
You could put, you could put it face up like that, of course, normally, right? But you could put it face down. You can't see it very well. Isn't that cool? Look at that. That's the giraffe. But that's just one of the green ones. There's also a, a rhino. Look at that. That's a rhino. Okay. Isn't that cool? Let's grab one of the small ones and see what... Now, obviously, the rhino wouldn't fit in a small enclosure, so we're not even going to bother putting it in there because it's too big to fit into a rhino because uh, the rhino's just too big for that kind of enclosure anyways, right? Let's see. We've got a zebra, looks like. You know, herbivore. So the, so the herbivores are green. Probably a zebra, right? Um... You know, not all of them are going to be completely different, maybe, but, you know, we've got this, whatever it is, right? You know, so there's there's some variations. We've got four different, we've got four different, um, let's just kind of put them here. Yeah, yeah, we'll put them here. We've got a giraffe. We've got, like, a zebra. A rhino-looking thing. Maybe, I don't know, copy bar or something? I don't know. But yeah, that's four different green. Are they all different, though? That's the question. This is going to be a long video, because I want to see if they're all different. Ooh, see, this is the elephant. Look at that. That's green. That's the elephant. It would it would need a five-size enclosure, right? There you go. Okay, what else we got? Okay, so this is another, uh, looks like this is actually a hippo. Um, actually, maybe this isn't a rhino. That is a hippo. These are both hippos. So there's two potential hippos. You might not be able to place out the exact, exact uh, animal based on um, meeple because they just might not cover all of them, obviously. But, but you can still cover some of them, right? And they're small enough that they fit in the closure, so that's cool. We got another one of these. Zebra looking ones, you know? Horse or zebra. Yeah, exactly the same. Let's see if there's any more green. There's, there's a lot of green in here, so. Ooh, there's definitely some more green variations. Kangaroo. That's green. Another herbivore. A different. Different green one. Another kangaroo. Um, another elephant, you know, oh, where did I put the elephant, the first one, those are hippos, some sort of bear or something, but that doesn't make sense, right, oh, yeah, <laughs> I put the hip the elephants in there, so there's two elephants there, okay, what else do we got, and another uh, elephant, so that makes three elephants, Here's another giraffe. So is that all of the variations of green? We'll see. We will see. Another giraffe. Another hippo. Okay. We'll just we'll try to do this one color at a time. That way we can put all the greens away. So we know we've done the greens. Huh. Yeah, capybara. Maybe. Some, well, no, because the capybara is not in the game yet, right? So, I'm not sure what these are, but they're green. Okay. Some more of that one. So, it looks like that's all of the different variations of green. Still, that's like one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different greens. It's going to be good enough, I think. So, that's cool. Let me root out all of the greens. And then we'll do next. Do another color. See what, what, what we have for uh, other types of meeples here. But beautiful. These meeples are so small, but so beautiful, so intricate, so awesome. Okay. So this will be a long video, guys. Cause just so you know, cause there's still lots to see. And I got this from. Um, if you guys want to know where I got it from, I will remember later. I have, actually, better yet, if you guys know want to know where I got these, just watch my video. 
um, when I w went to SaltCon for the very first day, I took a picture, I took a video of their booth that I got this from. So you should be able to look that up from the booth of that video. And it's like I said, it's recent. So when I post this video, it's only a couple of videos down. So you should be able to find it if you guys want, you know, what I got here. You know, if you want to get this exact stuff for your Arc Nova collection. So that's all of the green. Okay, let's do monkeys. Monkeys. We'll do the primates. So we got the baboon looking one, right, from earlier that was attached to one of the special tiles. Of course, it's gonna, it's not going to... Well, it looks golden compared to that. So that's cool. Okay, what else we got? Well, I want to say that's some sort of spider monkey or squirrel monkey, maybe. Cool. So that's the second, second variation. What else we got for primates? Oh, like some sort of smaller monkey, maybe. But still, um, um, maybe a dusk, dusk monkey or dusk leaf monkey or something. Um, it could be that. What else we got? Get another one of those. Let's see if I can find a different variation. We've got, we've got three already. Okay, here we go. This is a different variation, for sure. And if I can hold it without dropping it. Let's, let's do it that way. Look at that. Do I have it up right? Okay, yeah, something like that. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be exactly, but some sort of mouse lemur, maybe? Maybe a mouse lemur or something. Something small. That definitely seems like a small one. Is that the only variations? Let's see here. The baboon. And we had the smaller one. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything so you guys can see everything. Yeah, I don't know how to put that one face up. Like that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm just looking to make sure I found them all. It seems like that's the only variations for primates, but, you know, they're all primates, so what do you expect? Still, that's more than more than a couple of different variations when it comes to, to the primate meeples, you know? That's pretty cool. And if I'm missing one, I'm missing one. It's not a huge deal if you miss one of these. At least we'll see most of them, right? Okay, so let's put the yellow ones away. Move on to the next color. Might be something you guys can see a little easier. Um, still a couple more yellows to pick up. Okay. Okay, where's that bag? All right. Green and yellow are done. So there we go. Okay, let's see here. Um, birds are blue. So, we've got the owl one. It's upside down, I think. You know, it's kind of shaped like an owl, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got... So that's one variation of the birds, is the owl. Um, so there's, there's, more, there's several different species of owls in this game, so... Same thing with this. There's several different species of vultures, right? So we got the vulture looking one, right? Or condor, right? So that's two variations. Let's see if I can find a different, oh, here we go. Here's another variation of the blue. Some sort of hawk or something, right? Cool. So another variation of blue. That's three different blues. Uh, let's see. I can find another variation of the blues. Oh, yes, that's right. The blue flamingo. <laughs> Sorry, no pink flamingos in this game. Just blue. Blue flamingo. Which is probably not going to stand up on its two feet. No, this is not one you'd put on its two feet. You'd have to put it 
face down like that. It's not, it's just, doesn't have enough to keep it up. Um, so that's four different blues. Is that all we got for blue? I'm looking through, seeing if there's more. Ooh, yes, we got the ostrich. Look at that. So that's the fifth different type for blue. And you probably can't stand this one up either. As, e as easy as some of the other ones, right? Oh, you can. You definitely can. They're just a little flimsier, so they're going to fall over. If you decide to stand them up, they might fall over. But looks like they stay up pretty good, fairly good. Any other blues? I'm looking through here to see if I'm... Oh, yes. Look, so that's three, four, five different blues. Look, we've got a pelican. Look at that, we got a pelican. Okay, that's cool. So six different blues. We got a pelican to boot. Um, very cool. Um, obviously it would be more, it's easier to appreciate them when you can see them physically in front of your own eyes. But if you guys like what you see, like I said, you're gonna have to uh, obviously get this for yourselves. And remember my video my video that I posted literally a day or two ago from this one has has at least is, is at least gonna give you some information of how of where you can obtain them, right? So you're just gonna have to watch it. It's twenty minutes long. About twenty minutes long almost, but but uh, be patient. If you really want it, you'll be patient. Watch the whole video and you'll see for yourself where I got these. Cool, cool stuff. Now, there was a penguin, wasn't there? There was a penguin. Well, I guess there isn't a penguin. The, the only penguin was for the uh, special tile. That's got to be it. Yeah, special tile was the only one that had the penguin. So let's put the blue, because there's no, you know, there's not really any penguins in the game, unless you include the expansion, but these aren't including the expansion. So you'll still have to play with the old tiles if you want to play with Marine Worlds. You will still have to play with the old tiles, most likely. But if you're not playing with the expansion, then you definitely can play with these instead. Okay, let's see here. Uh, petting zoo. Let's see what petting zoo animals we have here. Well, that's a sheep. It's pretty easy to tell, right? And see, they, they're they designed so you can just, like, you know, put them in their little pen, so to speak. Okay, then we got... Domestic rabbit. I'm gonna put that in there, a little pen. Um, I've got another one here. Donkey. Donkey. Can go here. And I'm sure Shrek would be very happy to know that Donkey is in an enclosure in the zoo somewhere instead of bugging him all the time. <laughs> but yes, uh, there we go. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see, what else we have? Is there any other variation? Yes, it looks like there is. We've got uh, llama, looks like. So that's the fourth uh, variation for petting zoo animals. Um, oh, we've got the pig. So, fifth variation, right there. And um, it looks like, yeah, looks like that's it. Five different variations for the petting zoo animals. So if you're getting the lorikeet or whatever it may be, right, you will probably just put a bird or something inside of your petting zoo or something. I'm sure that's fine, right? You know it's a petting zoo. You know it's a going into the petting zoo after all. And if you're doing the uh, Bennett's wallaby, well, I'm sure you can put just put one of those green kangaroos into the petting zoo as if it was white, right? That's what I would do. Um, yes. So that's all of the different variations for white. And we'll do red and then save the best for last, which is, well, reptile. Obviously. Um, oh, I missed a yellow. We'll put that in now. Okay. There's still a few more whites to pick up. All right. Very awesome. Let's put these away. Okay, let's do red. What variations of 
carnivores do we have? Or predators, right? Oh, we got a seal-looking thing. Walrus or seal, right? Let's try a seal lion type thing, right? Okay, cool. So that's one variation. I don't know what this is. Can't really tell. Bear? Oh, yeah, it's a bear. Okay, so there's your bear. Um, uh, if you're going the, the carnivore route, you know. What else we got? Wolf. I think this is a wolf. Let's see if you guys can see it better. See? See, it's howling at the moon. It's a wolf. So we got the wolf. So that's the third variation. What else we got? We got the fox. All right, here's the fox, red fox. So fourth variation with the with the uh, predator. Let's see what else we got. I'm looking, seeing. Oh yeah, we got more. We've got uh, the otter, or maybe not otter, but it could be a stout or something, right? Something like that. So it's either an otter or a stout, one or the other. But yeah, something small like that. That's a predator. Um, and we've got the lion. Can't have it without a lion, right? If you're going to have the elephant, you're going to have a lion. Red lion. Red lion in. No, red lion. Cool, cool. So, so let's see. That's three, four, five, six variations within red, within predator. And I don't see anything else different. So, yeah, that's all of the different variations of red. That there are okay now that there's less here it's going to take less time to pick them all up and put them in the bag i do not want to lose anything so you just will have to be patient or fast forward to the next obviously segment which is going to be purple reptile okay all right put the red in let's put the rest of these in you know, um, very cool. Isn't that cool? Okay, reptiles. Reptiles. Let's see what the reptiles are. Okay, so we've got snake, you know, purple snake. Gotta love snake. That's a good snake. I like that snake. What else we got? Hmm, definitely another type of snake. So we got two variations of snake. Maybe cobra? I can't tell. Mm. I can't tell which side is is up or down. Yeah, cobra. So yeah, here, yeah, that was right, cobra. So we got two different snake variations. We got the constrictor variation, and we got the cobra or venomous snake variation. So that's cool, right? Okay, we got a lizard. Just a tiny little, like, little lizard, you know? Like maybe a gamma, maybe, or something. But yeah, just a, just a lizard that you guys can see better now, hopefully. So the lizard variant, right? Variation. So that's three. Let's see, do we have any more here? Yep. Then we've got the, the crocodile variation. So that's cool. Crocodile variation. Very cool. So that's four variations so far. Um, we've got another variation of a, of a lizard, it looks like, right? Yeah. Yeah, some other type of lizard right here. Cool. Another lizard variation. So we've got two lizard variations, two snake variations, um, and a crocodile variation. And then we've got the turtle variation, you know, tortoise variation. Cool, very cool. Or turtle could be, could count as one of those pond turtles too, you know. And I think that's all of the different variations. So, so six, six of them. Now, let me show you what they look like in here. There's reptiles. So, see, they, they fit in there. So you can, you can just... When you get one, you can just place it in here like so. It's pretty cool, right? You know, obviously they're going to take up more space, so you might have to still put, still put some cubes down to, to you know, cover up some spots, you know. But it's the thought that counts, you know. It's the thought 
that really just counts. Um, you know? Another lizard can go here. There we go. We got five of the six variations in that reptile house. Very cool, right? Okay. And they stay in there pretty good. So that's awesome, you know? Um... You know, they don't really all fit, gonna, they're all not going to fit necessarily fit in the small enclosures, you know. You might still have to place them on top or something. You might find uh, something that might fit, like, I don't know, something. But regardless, it's cool. It's useful. It's going to increase gameplay exponentially. It's going to be more awesome to play this game. People are going to be more attracted to your table if you're playing Arc Nova with these upgrades uh, from whatever uh, person or company that made them. Like I said, it's in my video and another video that I made previously. I'm just going to repeat that again. But yeah, that's all of the, the meeples. So you've seen all the meeples. It took a half an hour and we still haven't shown you everything. That's just how much stuff there is in this this upgrade. Let me just get that last lizard. Okay. There we go. Awesome. So those are the meeples. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing all of the different animals that that I got for Ark Nova. Don't forget to leave me a like um, and subscribe if you haven't. Now. There's still some st more stuff to look at, so don't go away just yet. We've still got a few things to to take a look at here. I've also got these things. So let's see what's in here. And this long thing here. Oh my gosh. Do you see what I see? Let's see what's at the top. Well, we've got a tray here for stuff to go. So that's nice. I'm sure we'll find something to put in there. Um... But look at this. These are the pavilions. So we've got our pavilions now. We've got our 3D printed pavilions. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And they fit in here like so. Look at that. Very functional. That won't take up too much space, hopefully. We'll have to see how it all fits. I am not going to do that for the video. I'm not going to see how everything fits in the video because you'll be here for another hour if I do that. But uh, here we have the kiosk at least. You can see that? The kiosk. Isn't that cool? Alright, cool. So, um, and then besides that, we've got um, some trays that came with this to put stuff into. You know, money and stuff, right? Kind of like that. So that's cool. So yeah, the the uh, the old stuff here is gonna have to go. That's the old stuff. The the wooden stuff that I got is probably gonna have to go to make room. But that's okay. I enjoyed it while I had it, and I'm gonna keep it. Probably switch it out every so often. But yeah, or maybe I'll get another. Maybe I'll get another box of Arc Nova. Maybe I'll get one for the expansion, and maybe I'll get one uh, for for this. You know, when I don't want to play the expansion or when. I'm playing with somebody new and they don't know how to play with the game anyways, right? So I'll probably do something like that. But yeah, that's pretty cool, right? All right. Um, so I saw, showed you most of the trays. Uh, there's still some more trays, smaller trays for this, the, the tiles that will still be in the game, like, you know, the institutes and... The partnerships with zoos and things like that from different countries, you know, co continents. Um, and then we've got some more stuff to put stuff in, right? And then, you know, a place for the blue player and yellow player to put their stuff, you know? That kind of stuff, right? And, um, and then we've got the place to put the cards in. There's three of these in total for the cards. You know? Cool, right? And that's that's everything I got for this upgrade. So if you guys watched the whole video, thank you guys so much for watching this entire video. And I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.